Hello friends, I hope you guys are doing well and having a good day so far. Today I'm going to show you guys how to install a bidet seat on your toilet. I had the Lux bidet attachment before and that one was okay. It didn't fit my elongated toilet properly. It kept sliding around. So recently I searched for an upgrade and I found this Brandel bidet seat. I'm very happy with it because it's a perfect fit. I have them right now on two toilets in my home and this is number three. We are in the middle of remodeling this bathroom and we just got a brand new toilet in here and I'm about to swap the original seat that came with it to the bidet seat. So I thought I'd show you guys how to install it because it's very simple and easy and quick, especially if you've done it a couple of times. So let's jump right into it. All right guys, so this is the Brondel Swash non-electric bidet seat and this is the 101 model. It only uses cold water. With the 102 model, you can control the temperature so if that's something interests you I can leave links to both of them in the description box below if you want to check it out and this is everything that came with it and everything you need to install it they said you really don't need tools I sometimes like to use a wrench to tidy everything up but you really don't have to you also need a couple of rugs maybe a little bucket and that's it and now I'm going to start by removing the old toilet seat now to remove the toilet seat lift the hinge covers up and use a screwdriver to remove the bolts. Now turn off the water supply, flush the toilet and hold the handle down to completely empty the tank. Now unscrew the water supply hose from the toilet tank and make sure to place the bucket underneath in case any water drains out. Place rubber washer into the T-valve and install the T-valve to your toilet tank. Make sure the T-connector is facing out like this and then give it a snug fit. Now reconnect the water supply line coming from the wall to the bottom of the T-valve. Now with that done, we can work on the toilet seat. So place the mounting blade over the bolt holes on your toilet, the rubber side faces down and the curved edge faces the tank. Next, place the adjustable bracket inside the mounting plate and align it with the holes on your toilet. Now slide the mounting bolts through the mounting plate holes and the toilet and you can secure them with the nuts but make sure you leave them loose so we can adjust the seat. Now place the toilet seat onto your toilet, slide it towards the tank onto the mounting plate until it locks in place. Now you can tighten the nuts. Now if your seat is pushed back like mine is and it's not aligning perfectly with your toilet, you can adjust it. Now to do that, I'm going to remove this seat and to remove it, there is a quick release button on the side here. You push it in to remove the seat. As you can tell, my adjustable brackets are pushed all the way back. So the only way for me to move my seat forward is to turn the bracket around like this. This is a pro tip, it's not mentioned in the book, but I find it really works. So now you can place your bolt back in. I'm going to do the same on this side and this allows you to move your seat further forward. Now that's perfect. Now connect the bidet hose to the water inlet and connect the other end of the hose to the T-valve. Lastly, turn the water back on and make sure there are no leaks. I really like that it is nice and very sturdy, no shifting around, which is really cool. And it has soft clothes cover and seat. Now the controls are simple and they work very well. You only have one knob and you have two nozzles here. When you turn the knob backwards, it directs the water to the back area. And when you turn the knob forwards, it directs the water to the front area. And the pressure is actually strong and just like a faucet, you control it. The more you turn it, the more pressure you get. 
and when you first turn the dial in either direction, water flows over the nozzles to clean it. First slowly and then with force as you turn the dial all the way. Now we can go back to the middle to turn it off. Alright guys, so once you have any video, you see there's no going back to using dry toilet paper. It is seriously life changing. And if you haven't bought one yet, you really need to get one. This is a significant step up from the attachment style bidet. It's a great addition to any bathroom and you'll wonder how you ever lived your life without it. It looks amazing, it is easy to use, it's durable, it's comfortable and most of all, it works great a bit of drying yourself afterwards with a bit of toilet paper that is all that might be needed you use a little bit more water but a lot less toilet paper which is absolutely fantastic and kids love it too so that's all i have for you guys today i really hope that you all enjoyed this video if you did please thumbs it up consider subscribing and i'll see you next time bye bye